kitchen. Tonight I'm going to make knishes. Uh, I'm gonna make meat filled knishes that my grandfather Moisha taught my mom. Um, and we're gonna use our leftover mashed potatoes. So if you have leftover mashed potatoes, this is a meal that you can make with your leftovers. So what you're gonna need is onions, your ground beef, eggs, flour, and mashed potatoes. And that is it. Okay, so first we're gonna start working on the dough. We're gonna add an egg. And we're gonna add a second egg. And we're just gonna mix this up. Now I use my hands for a lot of recipes, so don't let that freak you out. It's just, I don't know, it feels better to know that I can feel it with my hands. It's just a thing I have. They're very clean though. Okay, so the eggs are incorporated. Now we're gonna start incorporating the flour. And I'll get my little measuring cup out. And we're gonna start with, let's start with half a cup. And I keep going until it feels right for me. So we're gonna put in a half a cup and we're gonna mix it in. Well, see, this is why I like to use my hands. Okay, and I can definitely feel that I'm gonna need more flour. So we're gonna put another half a cup in. And we're gonna start mixing that up. Okay, yeah, it's time for the hands. I'm just making a mess. <laughs> Real cooks use their hands. Okay, we're gonna add one more half a cup. And I'm gonna keep stirring it. And it should feel more like a dough consistency. So we just keep adding until we get the right consistency. And as you can tell, it's starting to come together. So we'll mix all those sides in and we're gonna need more flour. So is everyone keeping track? Okay, so we're gonna throw in another half a cup. There we go, toss that in. And continue using your hands. Okay, and we'll come back when I have it all done and I'll let you know in the description exactly how much I use. Okay, so it was two and a half cups of flour and this is how you want it to be. Okay, see how it's just come together like a big dough? There you go, still soft and pliable. And I'm gonna put this in the fridge and you put it in the fridge for about an hour to cool off. All right, so I'm just gonna put it in the fridge. Okay, now the next part we're gonna work on is the filling. So come on over this way. Okay, in the pan I have some butter already heated up and we're gonna saute our onions. There we go. Kind of get them a little bit caramelized. And then when that's done, we're going to add in the meat. So we'll come back when the onions are all finished. Okay, so this is how I like my onions. We got a nice brown color on them and we're gonna start putting in our meat. And we'll start frying this up. A big mountain of meat here. Just break it up. And I'll keep going until that is done. And we'll be right back. The meat is done, and now it's your turn to put whatever spices you like to put in it. I like to put in some chopped parsley. We like pepper in our house, so we're going to throw some pepper in there. And some garlic garlic powder and salt is something that's up to you. If you want just a little bit of salt, go for it. This is your recipe. All right, we're gonna mix that up. Then we're gonna stick it into a bowl and let it cool off. And we'll be right back. Potatoes have cooled off. They are um, ready to work with. The dough is good. We've got our flour and we've got our meat. 
and we have our pan with our oil in it. And I know most people do knishes with uh, mashed potatoes inside and bacon, but you know what? Everybody's recipes are different. And we always fried ours and did meat like this, or we actually would do chopped liver inside them. So this is how I roll my knishes, and I do it in my hand. So I flour my hand quite nicely. And then I'm gonna take a nice dollop of the potato and I drop it right in. And it's a messy process, but my goodness, when they're done, they are outstanding. There we go. And then we take our meat and I just make a cup like that with my hand and we press it in and then we fold it over. Okay. And we built the shape and that's it. And then I drop this beauty right into the pan. And then we're gonna start with our next one. So once again, we flour our hand. We take a nice dollop of potato, potato dough. We flour our hand and I pat it out just like this. Make a cup with your hand, put the meat in the center, fold it over, lock it all in. There we go. Oh, my dog. Sorry, everyone. And there you go. And then we're gonna drop that one in the pan. And keep going and then we'll flip them when they're golden brown. Okay, we'll so I've right got up. my first batch of knishes done. And I'm just gonna put them on this plate here. And we are going to break one of them open so you can see what it looks like. There you go. And that is my homemade knish. <laughs>